Hi everyone, Kyle here. I meant to post this video a couple months ago, uh, but just got busy and didn't get to it. So with the help of an EMP, I got the trim working in the arrow here. So I'll take you through that very quick. Uh, we'll turn the master on. Uh, this is an override switch that was in here before, and right now it's off. That's on. That way I don't have to pull a breaker down here, reach across. It's just right on the panel. It's really simple. So the first problem I had was with the switch. Uh, there was a contact loose, there was not a spring in here, and then I had to put a new rivet. So there was a new AD on it, and that was the rivet and the spring. That was the most expensive part, but now you can see I can trim up, and I can also trim down, and you can see it right here on the wheel. So we're trimming up, and the tab moves. It's kind of sticky, but you can see it moves up, and then you can see it moves down. So. I'm really happy with it. I'll take you through the whole system and, and everything that I noticed that was wrong. And then uh, my EMP went through it as well and signed off on it. So very happy with it. I'll take you through it. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was we took the switch apart and I had a contact that was loose. So I grabbed some alligator clips and put one on one contact and then found the contact it should have been on and did my first test to make sure that the motor was operational. So I turned on the master and uh, so there is power. So my motor was working, but you can see the clutch was not engaging. That that uh, aluminum disc, there's a torque pad in there and it's a flywheel and that should pinch. That should pinch down and give it traction. So I knew I had an issue there. So I took some pictures of everything. So when I took it apart to show it to the EMP, I could put it back together exactly how it was rigged. So there's a spring on the end, took that apart, put it on the bench, and then went through everything on it. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side, there is the, the solenoid, the clutch, uh, but in the middle, you can see that I had a broken wire. So that broken wire had to be fixed. That was the culprit in regards to the motor until that um, electric that I think it's a little magnet piston in there that sucks down. So put some solder on there, put it back in the plane, tested it. On the right side you can see that magnet that piston when you engage it, it sucks down, which puts pressure on the clutch between that cork pad and actually makes it turn. So then put LPS on everything just to make sure everything was um, very slick and, and operational. There's a jack screw on the back of the plane um, every two three months I put some LPS on that and it really helps with the the trim uh, then on the switch I had a, a micro switch that was bad so you can buy that uh, you know off Amazon or off uh, Mauser and completely rebuilt that switch and uh, that was very helpful in regards to making that thing work again I needed a new spring and a rivet that was the most expensive part there was an AD on that so uh, there's the spring. I went on the website, just Googled it, and brought me to controller, and I think I paid like 86 bucks for that spring and that rivet. So that was the most expensive part. So I probably had about $100, $110 into everything in regards to that switch mostly. But uh, plane flies great. Trim works great. I'm very happy. I hope this will help you, and I thank you all for watching.